is Iestia, an Emerald Palace Gate 5 just to settle, about your favourite, set 1600 metres, sent on their way from the 1600 metre marker. Royal Ways is right there, Mother Duck now takes it up, Cupid is on the outside, moves up to make it a line of three, Emerald Palace is on the right hand side with the white cap just behind that Noble Nova, and then on the inside Flying the Star, that's in the orange socks. Then Global Appeal, Noble Nova is on the outside of runners, Wichita is further back, got about seven or eight lengths to make up, Izzy Estia is further back, and then comes Princess Fiend the Pink socks. Then Chu Ching Chow and Dear Juliet's the trailer about nine or ten lengths off the leader. Cupid has slowed it down and controls the pace as they move to the thousand meter. Emerald Palace, your favorite, is back in second position. Two lengths to Mother Duck on the outside. Royal Ways is back in fourth. Flying the star, that's in the orange. Global Appeal is on the outside of runners. Then comes Noble Nova. Further back, Wichita, the red cap at the rail, Izzy Estia on the outside. Then comes Princess Fee. Further back, Chu Ching Chow and Dear Juliet, the trailer. At the top of the lane, Cupid by two. Emerald Palace is second. In third is Mother Duck. And then comes Royal Ways. Towards the outside, Global Appeal. But Cupid is clear by two or three as they come to the 200 metre marker. And Cupid's going to take some catching. Emerald Palace tries to close it down. But Cupid as well in command is Yesta and Global Appeal running on nicely but Cupid will win it second will go to Emerald Palace Global Appeal third and is Yesta ran fourth well I thought this horse was the pick of the parade went in with a neck tucked into shoulders Cupid and took the lead, controlled the pace, and wins it, and wins it by what? About four lengths, number 10. Pays up 290 and 140. There was only 10 cents between that and the favorite, which ran second, number five, Emerald Palace. Global Appeal, number six, will run into the third position. That's at 250. And Izzy Yestia runs into fourth position. Further back is Flying the Star, Chuching Chow, and further back, Mother Duck. So as we look at this, and Cupid skipped away at the right time and had it all under control. You can see at the top of the stretch, quicken away two or three lengths from Emerald Palace, and they were going to battle to get to her. So the winner is Cupid. This is the Kirari Duncan Isles for Alcal Breeders. And Dr. V. Crittinger is the breeder. Luke Ferraris, until race six, back to the studio. Well, race number five, Cupid has come through to win the daughter of Karari. Well done to the breeder, uh, Dr. Chris Zinger and Al Kyle Breeders, uh, the winning owners. Luke Ferraris teaming up with Duncan Howells and uh, the gentleman that takes care of Cupid is Sitembele, Nondado, 1000 Rand, Gold Circle and Hollywood Bets. Congratulations, Nontandado. Well done, my man. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, let's get uh, Luke Ferraris in before we chat to Duncan. Yo, 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 yo. That was impressive. Thanks, Gigi, it was. Um, she, she was doing it really easy up front, and uh, when she came in the straight, she didn't feel like she was going to turn it on like a sprinter, but uh, she started to lengthen really smartly and uh, was doing it effortless. From the jump, you decided, I'm going to give this a confident ride. Was that your instructions? Get her over from the poor draw? Well, sir, um, Mr. Hazard and I, and I had discussed that uh, we would, would like one to follow, um, but she came with the machine so smartly and there, was, there wasn't anyone really vying for the lead, so I decided to let her roll. She got a beautiful action on her and, uh, and put it to use, and it's paid off. At the top of the straight, when, when you said, let, let's go win the race, that was it. She, she just quickened away in a matter of strides. You know, on top, she didn't really feel like it. Uh, she, she lengthened her stride really smartly, and I thought, well, if they're going to come beat her, it's going to... It's going to be a, a match race, but uh, yeah, she, she just kept galloping. Fantastic. I see that uh, on the 1st of Jan, uh, you've got uh, uh, an early exit out of the academy. You must be excited about that. Yeah, yeah really excited. What about the balance of your ride, young Luke? Uh, anything else that you like? You would have had a look at your, your rides. Uh, geez, I've got a few coming up later on that uh, I think I have decent enough form to be competitive. I see there's a cap on your head there to tell us about that. 
it's uh, it's Aventure's new stallion, talk of the town, and uh, yeah, exciting things ahead. Well done, here, Luke. Thank Thanks you. very much. Big thank you to Mr. House and to Alcohol Breeders. Good win. Thank you. And to my sponsor, Aventure. So, thanks. Duncan, I have fully made a statement there the way she won a maiden. Well, she won a good race. These, I, I must be honest, I was a bit concerned about going up to the 1600 on the way she uh, ran last time out and got pipped on the line, but she was very green. And uh, Gavin came to me after the race and said, Don't be uh, worried about getting beat. I, you got beat by a fairly decent sort of a horse. She'd come on from that race. My only negative was stepping up to the 1600, but she did it in fine style, and I was extremely happy with the win. Well, the advert for any trainer, any jockey, any breeder is the stats. And Warren read it out uh, in that parade, uh, in that preview. It'll now read seven winners from your last 31 runners. Your stable has turned around in a big way. I like these, you know, we all go through these sort of things. And I think it's well documented by now that we, we had a terrible run for two years. And uh, it wasn't easy. And then we had COVID-19, which made it more difficult. And... Uh, but people have stuck with me, and I've got to say thank you to them. Without the horses and without the clients sitting there supplying me with the horses to train and phoning you every now and again, say, chin up, it'll happen, you're not going to make it. So uh, I've got to say thank you to them. All the best with this filly moving forward. Anything else later on, Duncan? I've only got the one runner left. Uh, she's a little bit in and out, so I'm hoping for a place. But I'd just like to say thanks to Amir and Alcohol Breeders. They show a lot of patience with their horses. And it makes a trainer's life a pleasure because you can place the horses. And as you said before the race, there's big gaps between her runs. She's a very athletic filly who is very, very mature. And I felt the more time she got, the better she'd get. And for once, it's worked in our favor. So thank you to them. And uh, thanks to everybody back at the yard. Outstanding. Great. Thank you. Well done, Duncan Howes. Cupid, she's just won a maiden. But uh, we'll see where Duncan's going to run her next. Because she really trotted up. She waltzed in. Ten five, six and eight. That's the order of finish, race five.